Good morning and welcome to now a wet Greenock. We have arrived on technically day three. I think I called day two, day one yesterday. The weather's just changed quite significantly there. It was really nice. It was um, dry. But now the sun is away. And you can hear the wind and the rain. I'm going to show some views if I can. But just the weather just now has changed. The sun's over there. I wonder if they come over here. I've got some cover. <laughs> it's always my luck. It was really nice. Like five minutes ago. So yeah, technically first port stop today in Gurukh. Hopefully the weather changes and I can go and explore outside but I'm gonna get a look at the view as I views if I can with this weather and the camera. So I'll show some of that. Go get some breakfast at Cabanas and then try and go and explore if I can get off boat, go off the ship, go and do some things, even though I've been there a few times. But yeah, why not? I'm here, may as well. But hopefully the weather just changes because this is just horrendous. Ten minutes later, the weather has changed again. Typical Scottish UK weather. It is very windy, so apologies. But at least it's dry for now. There's a few folk still boarding their excursions. I believe you go to places like Edinburgh, Glasgow, Stirling Castle. I just want to have a look at the views. And I probably will, probably will go off the ship after I have some breakfast. Let's have a look at these views. And this is Grunach. You can see the hills on the opposite side. If it stays like this, we could have a really, really good day, really nice day. Out and about. And on the ship, in the open. So yeah, I am going to get some breakfast and going to wing it because tonight and today it's going to be a fun day. I'm going to, I've got Paolo for the first time, the Paolo restaurant, the very fancy Paolo restaurant. I have got that tonight at half past six. So yeah, I'm going to have breakfast just now. It's still early just now, I think 9am just now. Have breakfast, then maybe go off and then Paolo and then, and then, and then. Oh, it's windy. Ah, food time. I've went for all the healthy options here. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast with a familiar view. And the feeling is I'm gonna get off board. The adventure in me. Adventurer in me. I have to get off board. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye. This weather does not know what it's doing. Oh, I had my breakfast, changed jacket four or five times, but I am now off and going on an adventure, going to explore. Try and find something new to do here. Don't know. Who cares? But look at this ship. Oh. over the bridge and then to Greenock 
home from home. You get a better view when you're off the ship at the first port here. Behind me at the dream, on the dream, of the dream, living the dream. So cool. And you can't really see it from a viewing point. If you come to see it, you can see the the, what's the back, see the back of it. But if you go further up, I think you can watch it sailing by, sailing away. So hopefully, I see you all waving away. And you can, yeah, yeah, you can get to see the ship because that's what spurred me on a few years ago. If you haven't seen those videos, I came early in the morning, one morning, to see the ship. I can't remember if it was a magic, Disney magic. And I said, one day, one day I will be on a Disney cruise, coming here, stopping here, and other ones as well, but look at that. So from that video that I mentioned, I walked down there a few years ago, looked at the ship, and said, yeah, one day. But ever since then, yeah, I've built the ocean terminal, so you walk through the terminal, which I've just done, and going to explore, but yeah. <sighs> yeah, I feel it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't feel like that long ago I was standing there walking through while that was getting built, saying that I'll be on a ship. I said it last time I was here. Yeah, I'm just saying that again. This is how I feel in this moment in time. I don't think I'm gonna to spend too much time outside this weather, it just keeps changing. But what I want to do is I want to go around some shops, pick up a few things for the housekeeping and our servers at night. A few things, a few gifts. I'm going to collect a few things each stop and give it to them at the end of the cruise as some gifts. I have done this kind of walk before on the waterfront here and look at that, but I have done it with a Disney dream behind me before. How awesome, how cool is this? Like, I'm going to, there's not a lot to show but I will like the video down below where I have went to the museums uh, before on the last trip here, so I will do that. I'll link it down below. The museum that I done previously here was the Scottish Fire and Rescue Museum. It is free. It's really cool as well. To be honest, a lot of information, a lot of cool things to look at. So check that out. That's worthwhile. And it isn't a long walk to get from the ship to uh, that museum as well. There's other museums. Just open up Google Maps, but. I'll link that video down below because it will be helpful, hopefully. Hopefully you enjoy it. You do get sculptures like this. It's got, what's, one says one side of that, what do you call it, a fin, is it? Prospect and trust. A lot of these, a lot of history in Munich, a lot of old buildings. And if you want to head into Glasgow or over to Edinburgh or Stirling, you'll spend less time there right enough but you will get to see them as well. But for now, I am going to head to the shops, walk around the shops. Probably won't record too much of that and get a few gifts and a few things for myself and then head back on the ship. So probably the next time you see me, I'll be heading back on the ship. Uh, yeah, so yeah, the weather keeps changing. I have done some shopping, nothing too special to be honest. Never seen anything really different that I've caught or seen before. So I'm going to head back on board, explore more of the ship. Maybe go enjoy the spa for an hour, relax, see more of the ship, and then eat food again. But tonight it's going to be Paolo's. First experience for me at Paolo's. We'll see what kind of views we can get from inside the terminal of the ship as well. So you can come in the terminal and get a little bit closer to any ship or this ship. I want to see Saucer and Mickey up close if I can. This weather just, just changes every five minutes, honestly. I find a jacket on, jacket off, jacket on, jacket off. Jacket on, jacket off. Jack it on, jack it off. And right now it's off. So, and it's the wind, the wind as well is picking up. But it is really, really, you can see, it's nice over there. 
and then it's miserable there. I'm going to head back on, see what we can get up to. Eat more cake. back on board and tonight it would have been Enchanted Garden but I'm doing Paolo I have eaten it at Enchanted Garden before we just look at that here well it's quiet but I will be in Enchanted Garden later on in the week look at that For now, I'm going to go relax, chill, take it easy, wave everyone goodbye, and then eat, like I say, like I keep saying. If you want to get some great photos, great movies, some clips at the atrium, come in everyone's off port if you can, because it's quiet. Look at this. This is how quiet it is. You even get a seat. Get a photo of the stairs. I just love this chandelier. I don't know if you ever ever noticed because I still don't notice things. It takes me a long time, but you see the characters. You see Donald, Chip and Dale, Mickey and Minnie. You see them all there and all the way around. Oh. Be good if I could show you in the camera. But all the way on the edge of the overlooking balconies. Yes, I have forgot my sunglasses because who knows what to wear. Uh, I've got a cup of tea. I'm going to take in some of the views before I go to the census spa, the rainforest spa. Probably rain about five minutes, which is why I'm going to try and take in some of the views just now. Maybe try and get some waves. Not leaving just yet. I'm going to have tea, relax, catch up on some internet because I don't have any uh, signal out in sea. But since I'm pre pretty much back home, I can catch up with a signal. Uh, so I'm going to take in some views. I'm up in deck uh, 12. That's the plan. And then I'm going to go to the Census Spa, go to jacuzzi and steam room and everything else. And uh, yeah. Then it's Paolo later on, like I've said about 50 million times. But let's have a look at some of these views, views since it's still dry for five minutes. It has turned into a really nice day. It's only just after half past two just now. Even if I was still out and about roaming the shops, it would be a nice day. Even if it is pouring a rain, and you've seen my video from here last year, I stood in the rain, got soaked and got some good waves saying goodbye to everyone that turned up. It's amazing seeing the community that, that just turns up to say and see, say goodbye and see the ship. It's amazing. That's what brings all this community together. That's what I love about this. One of the things I love about the kind of Disney community, not just the cruise line, just everything, yeah. So, if you haven't seen that before, I'll show you what I mean, hopefully I capture that moment just before I go to Paolo when we leave here uh, leave Greenock roughly about 6pm it's due to leave I'm going to sit and enjoy my tea just now and uh, yeah I'll show you some some sights and sounds from up here on deck 12 I've enjoyed this, just relaxing, doing nothing, and having some tea. And um, now I'm going to go make my way to Census Spa and Salon, get a haircut as well. There. 
and uh, go and relax. If I can show you anything, I've got the GoPro. If I can show you anything, it was too busy yesterday, but if I can, I will put stuff in. If I can't, then yeah, I'll see you after that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and chill, relax. Gym, a fitness centre as well, so we'll have a look at that just now. I'll put some clips in since it's a little quiet, so let's check that out. <laughs> You've got a fitness centre schedule based on this cruise. And cold towels. Wait, do you have a look? At this, they have kindly let me inside to record. Come and get your hair cut. And some treatment. The Smile Spa. Smile Spa? So is that a dentist thing? I'm guessing, is that what this is? Hmm. <laughs> this is really nice. And you've got a view. You even have a barber shop. <laughs> wow. Probably very expensive, but really cool option to have on board. I'm going to be taking lots of photos as well, so if you want to follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, I will post most of it, uh, videos and um, pictures as well, photos of these different areas. We've got a juice bar as well, I'll show you the juice bar. The fancy juices. Yeah, they also gave me a price list which I've taken photos of, but if you want to quickly pause and have a look you can do that as well The juice bar with some fresh orange juice and all sorts I don't see a menu out and about just now If I can find anything I'll put the clip in Come and chill here in the juice bar. Cheers, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. You too, thank you. I have got the suit back on. Yes, same suit, different shirt, got a tie on. I'm not that organised, one suit. But I am. Um, Sorry, I am distracted because we're about to leave very, very soon and I've got Paolo at half past six, so it's due, the boat's due to leave at 6pm and Paolo is at 6.30pm, so I don't know how much I'm going to record of leaving. So, hopefully it all goes to plan, you never know. And it's turning into a really nice night, but I am on deck four, just in case the sun disappears and the rain comes out. But everyone is coming on board and there should be some bagpipes and drums getting played as well. So, gonna enjoy this, leaving Greenock, waving everyone goodbye, and then going for a fancy pearl with dinner, which I have never done. Yeah, good times. Hi Goofy, how you doing? 
Loving the kilt. Love it. Love it. Oh yes. Love it. The true Scotsman over here. I can hear. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely approved. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> past six and there's more buses coming in so I don't think I'm going to be able to wave anyone goodbye so it's going to be straight to Paolo for food. I am really looking forward to the Paolo experience but it's, I, I do like both experiences but waving everyone goodbye but I just can't wait anymore. My booking is half past six and there's buses upon buses but the bagpipes are playing managed to get a clip of that which is really cool to hear that and watch that. So yeah, I don't know what time we're going to be disembarking at or leaving it because we've still got a bit of work to do to detach the boat or the ship. I keep saying boat, ship. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Look at this. Oh my. I have walked through it before. This is not my table, but look at that. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being nosy. That's all right, okay. Yes, thank you. You have a great, actually, that's a great opportunity because usually at, the, at Very 6 o'clock, 6.30, somebody's you. already sitting that's there. Good. That's so good. That's so so good. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Enjoy. Cheers. Thank you. Was nothing. Mm. Hot. Mm. It's really sweet. Well, well, well. What an experience. It's supposed to represent pasta. And oh yes, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Don't know how much I can really record and how that's going to kind of work out, but. That was an experience, and the servers were amazing as well. And look at the picture behind me of oh, Remy behind me. What an experience! The food, the steak was absolutely stunning. And I'm not like a massive steak fan, but the steak was phenomenal. But it's more the experience and the server, all that kind of stuff. Value for money. That was the 50 dollars package, 50 pounds package. I'll put more information down below that I had. I think I'm gonna have to do a few laps.
to walk that off. Oh. Stunning food. But mainly the experience. The server. I'm not gonna name names just in case nobody wants to yeah, get their name out there, but I'm gonna have to do a few laps. So let's walk around the, the ship, see what's going on. Surprise, surprise, I have ended up in the store. And I'm buying some t-shirts, of course. But they're pretty cool, pretty smart, have a look at this. So, keeping it plain and simple, I like this colour, it's just the Disney Cruise Line with an anchor. And then the other one is a blue one, and that's got a Disney Cruise Line logo on the chest and the front. $29.99 for these each, and I might just be able to wear them on my next cruise. Or just round the house. Well, day three has came to an end with me doing laps trying to walk off that steak and other food. Or I could get some ice cream. <laughs> oh, I've got a cheek, even thinking about food just now. But I'm going to end the video there. Day three is over. Thank you all for watching. For a great day back at Greenock. Even though I never done much when it was off. Like I said, I put information down below if you want to see more of Gunnuk. I have covered more of Gunnuk and Port Glasgow and the Census Spa as well. I enjoyed that. Hopefully, you enjoyed the, the footage that I tried to capture that I put it in. And uh, yeah, Paolo, first time experience, 100% would do it again. So, day three is over. Tomorrow, Liverpool. I will see you all for day four. Take care. Bye bye.